Part of me is really sad because this is the last recipe in Weird Flavor Month. But we are gonna go out with a bang. <music> recipe number four in our finale of our Weird Flavor Month is pretzels with honey mustard. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> So let me tell you why I'm actually like really excited about this one. Honey mustard is naturally sweet to begin with, so this is gonna be too difficult to make it into something that's not just palatable, but actually kind of enjoyable. Then, instead of just putting crushed up pretzels inside, I thought that this would be really cool if we made a pretzel bun and then made honey mustard pretzel bun ice cream sandwiches. Have I made pretzel buns before? Nope. So we're gonna learn together! The ice cream base shouldn't be too difficult. I am going to be using Dijon mustard and yellow mustard just a little bit, just to give it some tang. A little bit of spices that go usually into a honey mustard. We're gonna use honey as our primary sugar component. We're just gonna like pray to God and hope for the best. Honey mustard lords. Are you listening? Next week is my actual birthday as well as my mother's birthday. Whenever we have any family event, whether that's a holiday or a birthday, we go hard in paint when it comes to food. So make sure you are following me on Instagram because I am positive that my Instagram stories will be loaded with different food this week. Obviously feel free to subscribe to YouTube too. You YouTube too. Okay, so honey mustard pretzel bun ice cream, the finale to our weird flavor month in honor of your weird host here, Danny Fish, is starting in three, and two, and one. I'm not as scared for this one because the base didn't taste as funky before I churned it, so I'm hoping it's not so bad. It smells like a hint of mustard, but not like mustard, you know? It tastes exactly how I wanted it to taste, so I am very happy. You definitely get mustard, obviously, from the Dijon and the yellow mustard that we used, but I think the honey really kind of saved this and brought everybody together, kind of like made everybody friends. I could see this being like a savory little quenelle on top of some fancy dinner or something like that, because even though it's ice cream, the sweetness really doesn't take over. It definitely feels like a savory dessert or a savory component to something. I'm really excited to try the pretzel buns with it. 
I need to wait for them to cool because they're not out of the oven just yet, but as soon as they are, I'm gonna make a little pretzel bun, honey mustard ice cream sandwich, and then try that all together. Amazing. Oh my god. I actually enjoy that. Like, I would order that somewhere. Oh my god. The pretzel buns visually came out a little wonky, but taste-wise, it is spot on. You get perfect pretzel, a little bit of crunch, super soft on the inside, and then all the crystallized salt on the outside. All of that goes perfectly, perfectly with the honey mustard, tangy, cold, sweet, just a little bit of sweet ice cream. Holy cow. Holy cow. I'm a winner. I win. And with that is the end to Weird Flavor Month. Thank you for all your suggestions. This was so much fun. Very weird, but very fun. So, as a recap, recipe number one, chicken and waffles, win. Recipe two, dill pickle, fail. Recipe three, jalapeno poppers, win. And now recipe four, pretzels with honey mustard, win. That's three to one in my favor, so I, I think I deserve a prize. Thank you for participating in all of the weirdness this month. Thank you for embracing my weirdness. And thank you for coming back next week for more ice cream. <laughs>